folks welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you guys how can you import your excel data into your sql database uh, there's two different possible ways i'm going to show you uh, number one is your uh, using your sql import export wizard which is very sequential fairly straightforward uh, activity but it's manual right i'm going to show you that plus i'm going to show you guys how you can automate the same process using ssis right first let's take a look into the X sql import export wizard uh, you just need to open your uh, wizard here. SQL Server Import Export. Uh, what you see here is basically uh, uh, the front uh, screen. And then you just need to go next, next, next. Uh, you just need to select your data source. I'm going to say it's a flat file data source. It is located in my, uh, yes, actually, it is in my SSIS folder. So it's a CSV file, load it inside. You can see here what are the different columns you have. You have your finance key, date key, organization key, department group key, scenario key, and all of these, right? I basically took this off from the AdventureWorks uh, data warehouse uh, database, the finance sales transaction file, I guess. So um, yeah, and then you can go change your uh, data type here. So the default is 50 here, you can, uh, depending on the input data, how much, what is the size of the data, you can change the size. I'm just going to keep it as, as 50, but you can set the maximum size and selecting your uh, var char here, so that you can always do it. So first, well, as soon as my source has been established, I'm going to go to my next. Now I'm going to uh, select a target, which is my destination. Go to my... Uh, SQL Server native client and then my server name is local since I'm gonna load it into my uh, uh, local DB I'll show you right now if you can see here I'm just establishing a connection to my local host uh, so my the system that I'm gonna be using is gonna act as a server so we'll go to the databases and this is the database I'm going to be using, Adventure Works Data Warehouse Database, right? So I'm going to load the flat file into this database. So it, it should be a table, so it should be one among these. So let's take a look here. So database Adventure Works Data, data Warehouse 2017. Uh, server name is going to be local. So let's hit next. So it's going to say it's going to also uh, show the destination files uh, name so right now it's gonna say it as flat file source this is gonna leave it as is uh, you can take a look into the mappings you see your source you see your destination the finance key from your source directly moves to your finance key in your destination and uh, date key moves to date key organization key moves to organization key and all just like that right and there is no transformation between it's just straight load so nothing uh, nothing fuzzy so once it's been loaded, once when once it's been mapped, hit next, and then hit finish. Yeah, before you hit finish, if you check this option as save package, save your SSIS package, uh, it's gonna automatically create a data flow task and it's gonna save the full steps as an SSIS package. But do not worry about it. Uh, we are gonna create that package uh, by ourselves, right? All right. So as soon as you hit finish. The data has been loaded. Let's take a look here. Uh, I just need to refresh my tables. Hit refresh, and you will see a table created called flat file source. And here you go. Let's select some data from there. Uh, I'm just going to take the top thousand off. Run it. Select everything. So now you can see here thirty nine thousand. 409 rows has been loaded right so everything has been loaded so this is a simple task but this is manual that's a process right now i'm going to show you guys how you can do the same process using ssis right so you have your excel let's load the SS, uh, load the excel into your ssis and load it back into your sql right so that's uh, what we're going to do right now so let's launch your visual studio ssdt Create a new project, integration services project, I'm just going to 
it as you know uh, snapshot load snapshot load right straight to straight load the another term for that is snapshot load or uh, you know straight load however you want to call it uh, all right so once your uh, SSIS loads this is your SSIS uh, canvas once it loads on the left hand side you can see your toolbox so uh, I'm just gonna use my data flow task uh, this time since it's a uh, you know data flow from your source to target so I'm just gonna you know alter the font size a little bit here right so this is going to be how can we call this flat file load flat file load right let's open this and then it's gonna have a source this time my source is going to be my uh, flat file source so flat file source and then from the flat file source I'm gonna move it uh, into the destination which is my SQL server so I can just pull in one of these so I have my ADO.NET destination so I can configure an SQL server inside this I'll use the size okay so uh, I'm just gonna first configure my source and then I'll go ahead and configure my destination so first let's rename this as uh, we don't need to it's already flat file source so let's open it first thing that uh, you have to do is is an important thing your flat file connection manager because everything SSIS operates through a connection manager you establish a connection to a file and all the you know transactions will happen through the connection manager so I'm gonna point to that same file that we created before flat file source right in very similar layout like we saw before you see just very similar to what we saw the same columns you can see your advanced where you can change your data type and shows a preview also right so I have my file connected right now in the source so I hit OK now I'm gonna configure my output or my destination. I'll say SQL target. So open that. Uh, you know, for obviously you need to connect this uh, uh, source into the target. Uh, let's open this, and then uh, again similarly, you have to create a connection manager here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new connection manager. I already have a couple of them. But just for the for this video, I'm just going to create a new connection manager. All right, I'm just going to say local host, right? And then the select a database name. That's going to be your target database. So same database, AdventureWorks DW2017. Test connection. Perfect. Hit OK. Now the connection has been established, right? Now it's going to ask you a uh, list of tables to choose. If you already have a table that you wanted to load the data into it, you can choose whatever table you have it. But make sure the schema should be the same uh, because in the when you go configure in mappings, it should uh, all the data from the uh, from your source should go to should relate to the data into your target. Right. In this case, I'm just going to create a new table. So hit new, and it's going to create a name for the table SQL target. Hit OK. Uh, preview right now SQL target doesn't have anything so it just shows that all right so as soon as you hit OK here uh, you go to your SQL server you can see your uh, data uh, table that has been created see SQL target uh, say select top thousand I'm just gonna show you nothing because there isn't any data loaded right now let's go go ahead and load the data into it so uh, in your destination before you hit OK what you have to do here is go to the mappings right um, sometimes it might throw you an error so you might as well do the mappings and then you know go for it um, so you have your uh, input columns these are your uh, you know destination columns so finance key goes to finance key date key go, goes to date key and uh, very similar to that right straight to straight fairly straightforward now let's go ahead and run this right click execute task I'll just uh, hit start from here. I'm just gonna do this. Execute task. Yep, so perfect. So it's uh, super quick. 
39,409 rows has been loaded into your SQL Server table right now. Now, the same table, let's see what's, uh, what's inside this table right now. I'm just going to take off the top 1,000. See, 39,409 uh, rows has been loaded, right? Straightforward. Uh, next, what, I'm, what we can see here is basically the same task that we did using Excel, uh, Excel file. Let's go ahead and do this using your SQL table, right? Very similar. So let's use the same table that we uh, brought in now. Uh, your SQL, you know what? Let's use the let's use the same file that we brought in before, a flat file source, right? And then let's create another table called flat file source two, and load the data from your flat file source into your flat file source two. Uh, go back to the same task, exit the debug mode, go to your design mode, and all that I'm going to do here is take off this uh, flat file source off. And then connect your uh, adu.net source and then call it sql source sql source right and open it same database the table name is going to be flat file source this time right preview it has a bunch of data within that then let's create a connection into your target. And then in the target, I'm gonna create another table called, uh, you know, SQL target number two. All right? Let's load the data from flat file into your SQL target two. Hit OK. Mappings. So similar straight to straight. Hit OK. Right click. Execute task. Yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and see. The new table it doesn't show up right now because you have to refresh this list. Uh, hit refresh. Now it's going to show you SQL table 2, uh, SQL target 2. Select query on that. Uh, take the top 1000. I want to show top 1000. I want to show everything. Execute. See, 39,409 records has been loaded. Right? So that's uh, what we have today guys, so it's fairly straightforward, uh, just a straight load, there is no transformation in between. So whatever we have in the source has been loaded into your uh, destination. Uh, this is a very basic task to start with. In the next video I'm going to show you guys how can you do your uh, incremental load using SSIS, right? Incremental load with inserts, deletes and update, right? So wait for that video and I'll see you guys in that video. Thank you.